Hi guys, Mrs. Z here and we have a special, special treat today. Today is Tractor Cruise 2022 and we're standing here with the president of the Southeast <laughs> Kansas Old Time Gas Engine and Tractor Club in Pittsburgh, Kansas and they're the ones sponsoring this event. We're starting out here at Hickory Creek Farms and already we hear tractors arriving. Andy, how, how many times have you done this event? This will be the fourth time doing it. COVID killed it one year, so we should, it's actually our fifth year, but a fourth actual cruise. Sweet, and why do you do it? My dad wanted to do one one time and we decided that it'd be kind of fun and so far we've had fun at it. It's a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun. Indeed, this is a chance for these older farmers with these old tractors to show them off, right? Yeah, a lot of these guys aren't using them for, you know, on the farm anymore because they're a lot smaller than, they, than what they need. And, so it gives them a uh, reason to go out and give them a little exercise. Very good. And I can see lots of smiles on faces. So this is going to be a good day, isn't it? It's going to be a warm one, but it's hopefully a good day. Supposed to get up to 99. Are you ready for that? <laughs> hopefully it's 99 when we're done. Did you bring your air conditioner, Andy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Umbrella. <laughs> we got our donuts anyway. That's what counts, right? You got that hot coffee because it's so cold out. Now, how far are we going to be going today on our tractor cruise? It's going to be 15 miles one way. And where are we headed? St. Paul. Uh, we're going to go to the museum there and uh, check out a tractor collection there in, in St. Paul as well. Sweet. And then are we coming back here too or is it just one way? Uh, some of us will be back here. Some of us are going to load up there and some people will dart off. But we're going to try to, we'll be here for sure. It'll be about five, ten of us come back. Excellent. And I hear there's something special going on at the museum. What would that be? Lunch. <laughs> lunch. Always lunch. And we're going to hear uh, me. Read Emmy Rides Again, right? Right. Yeah, that's going to be going on. Um, then there'll be that tour too, the check out the museum. Uh -huh. But uh, we're going to hear the story of Emmy. And Emmy will actually be there, I think. I think uh, my son John, who restored his grandpa's tractor, Emmy, he's going to be driving Emmy in yep. the tractor cruise. So that's kind of special for us. Hopefully a lot of kids come out and listen to you read the book. Yeah, I Listen hope about so. Emmy. I hope so. Well, I hope you have a grand day, and I'm going to leave you to your stuff, Andy Smith. <laughs> leave my coffee. Yeah, your coffee and your donuts and your registration of all these fine fellas. That's right. All right. Thanks, Andy. Yep. There they come. Hi, Mr. Winger. All right. Are we okay parked there? You bet. Tractors are being unloaded and preparations are being made. What a fun, fun time. It's no easy task loading up these old antique tractors and getting them to where you need to go. Love that flag. Who says you need a trailer to bring your tractor to the tractor cruise? Mr. John doesn't live far, far away, so here he comes on his tractor. He just drove it here to the farm. How fun. And now look in the opposite direction. There's three more tractors on the way. How fun, fun, fun. Look at that tiny little tractor. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Tell me your name. 
Jim Hobson. Jim Hobson? Yeah. Ah, why do you do this? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Because it's fun. Because it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's something exactly. to do. It's something to do. Now, is this tractor that you drove today a toy, or do you actually use it? No, it's just a play toy. Was it in your family from no, way back? No, I bought that tractor out of Wichita. Awesome. And uh, six years ago. Cool. What kind of tractor is it? It's a John Deere Model A, 1949. Cool. Yeah. Could you show it to us? Sure. There's your tractor, Jim. Tell us about it. It's a 1949 John Deere Model A. Model A. And they're about 35, 40 horsepower uh -huh. on the draw bar. Hey, uh, Jim, I hate to ask this, <coughs> but for all us city folks, what does horsepower mean? Uh, well, what it was, was, you know, you had one horse. Years ago, you had one horse. Well, now, they step step, so two horses, three horses, four horses, and they just kept it as a horse. Like, like it's the power yeah. of that many horses. Yeah, like horse. it, yeah, yeah. If awesome. you had, if you had uh, one horse, you'd have one horsepower. If you have 30 horses, you got 30 horsepower. If you got 40 horses, you got 40 horsepower. Well, that's kind of the way they kept it with their tractor. That's awesome. It, it gets pretty neat, yeah. Well, that speaks to me as a city person. Actually, I'm not a city person. No, I'm you're a small not. town person. You're a smaller town person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we're glad you're here, and we hope you have a wonderful oh, time. We'll have a great time. All right. Thank well, you, Jim. Well, I do have a good time. You know it. You know it. There's a couple of fellas getting ready for the tractor cruise. Tell us your name. Hi, Hi I'm Paul Wanger from Erie. And, and I'm William Martin from Stark. I don't think I've met you, have I, William? Nope. I'm Ruth Zimmerman, and I live here. Okay. Yep. My son is driving Emmy today, one of his tractors. I'm the president of uh, Plowboys from Stark. Sweet. Well, welcome. And who's this behind you? Larry Isom. Yeah. Hi, Larry. Who? Larry Isom. Larry. Where do you live, Larry? I live over big city of Stark, Kansas. Awesome, I've been there, Larry. <laughs> You've been there? I've been there. Oh, God, and he's, a, he's a member of the Plowboys, too. Okay, okay. Uh, Very good. Tell me why you're doing this today. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. That's the yeah. answer I'm getting from everybody. That's why we do it. Yep. Now, how many tractor cruises have you been a part of? Well, this is going to be the second one for me this year. Very good. Yeah. Very good. How about you, Paul? This is my second one this year, yes. Uh -huh. Very good. And how yeah. many all together? Oh, oh geez. Yeah, we, I don't know, we go way back, don't we? Yeah, I've, I've been to a lot of them. I've been to oh, Iowa geez. and Illinois and Missouri. Yeah. Sweet. I've been to Kansas and Missouri, yeah. yeah. How about you? Is this your first I just one? been to Missouri and Kansas. Yeah, he's been doing it a while. Would you show me your tractors? Mine's right there. Okay, can, would you show it to me? Yeah. Tell it's us an, about your tractor. It's an M-Farm I It's 1947. It's set probably for 20 years, and I got it running, and I'm taking it on rides. Sweet. Was it in your family, or did you no, buy it? No, no. It come, it actually, if anybody remembers the Smith Brothers uh, cattle and hogs in Stark, this was a feed, this, this tractor they used it on a grain cart or an auger wagon. Cool. So it was a hard working tractor yes. before you got it. Yes. Great. Well, I'm glad you're here today and I hope you have a great time. I hope next year when I come that it'll be all painted up. You're going to paint it yourself? Uh huh. Awesome. And you, you've got the engine going all by yourself. Oh, yeah. I do it all. That's great. That is awesome. Now, Paul, okay. tell us about your tractor. Okay, well, uh, Ruth, I was in one of your videos from last year yes. and you talked to me and at that time this tractor wasn't restored and i just finished restoring it you did it yeah. yourself we, i got it all done in fact last night so you're yeah. kidding uh -uh. now when you yeah. say restore what are you talking about just a repaint new tires but it yeah, was already running it. yeah it was a running tractor year. it was a good running tractor but i wanted it to look better so well you know yeah. what you did a fine <laughs> job on that yeah. ford it is a ford right that's correct ford 8n 1948 and you know what I told you last year? What? My grandpa yeah, that's had a tractor right. like this. So this one is like dear this. to my heart. Yeah, yeah. Dear to my heart. Yeah, no kidding. It's a good one. <laughs> good deal. Well, thank yeah. you. I yeah. hope you have You're a great welcome. time. Looky there. Even the geese want to take note of this. Here we are with Mr. Vernon Egbert. Hi, Vernon. Well, hi. Are you ready for a good time? I am ready. Ready. Yeah. Is this your tractor? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, can you tell us about it? Oh, I bought it. It was two years old. 
two years old. So and what year would that have been? I bought a '69. It's a '67 model. '67. Yeah. Now, did you actually use it on the farm, or oh, is it just yes, for it show? Is. I use it for show. Yeah, I use it on the farm. But for, now it's for show, right? Well, I still use it some. Yeah. yeah. What do you use it for? Well, I got a three-point mower on it and a sprayer on the back. Excellent. I use it for that. Yeah. Excellent. It's good that. Well, we're going to have fun today. Good. Headed to St. Paul, and I'm glad you're here to join us. Well, I'm yeah, looking forward to seeing that museum up here. I, I go by there all the time and don't stop. Great. Well, I'm looking forward to it, too. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll catch you there. Okay. There's old Bossy and her babies, Chloe and Charlie, taking it all in. Munching on her breakfast while she watches these tractors and their drivers come. When are you going to bring those little boys, Ryan? Oh, they yeah. should be here at the museum today. Yep. Are they going to come and hear Emmy rides again? Yep, that's what they want to hear. Yep. Awesome. Well, we'll look forward to seeing them. Yep, I love it. Now, how many cruises have you been on, Ryan? This is only my second one. Now, I remember interviewing you on the first one. Yep. Did you enjoy it? Yep. Good enough to come again, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm here again. Yeah. Good. Well, well, you have a great huh? time. Oh, I will. Thank okay. you. Okay. And Cap is here to welcome all of our drivers. Everybody's getting all registered and ready to go. Nice. Looky there, he's got a buddy. That is called a buddy seat. That's my kind of seat right there. Hi, you guys. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. I am so pleased to see we have a buddy seat today. Who's your buddy? Grace, it is so good to have you here. Is this your first tractor cruise? Yes. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Awesome. And who's your grandpa? Terry Hale. Terry? Where do you live, Terry? We live over in Carthage. Now, did, you didn't drive this thing all the way from Carthage, did you? No, that would have taken even longer <laughs> than what it took us to get over here. <laughs> it's a major thing bringing these tractors over here to these cruises, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're. Uh huh. And it was we had so much fun. Oh. And I was just uh, I had two other places I could have been today, but uh, when I found out we were going to have a tractor drive, uh, we worked real hard to get this oh. buddy seat built. And uh, did you build that yourself? Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, we've been we've been trying to figure this out for a while. We just decided to jump off the deep end and, and see what we can come up with. Uh huh. Probably do better, but uh, this ain't bad for the first shot. Not bad at all. You ought to patent that. That looks really cool. Thank you. Very good. Well, welcome. And I hope you have a great first tractor cruise. Thank you. All right. Herman, and are you driving a tractor today? No, I'm, I'm pulling behind in the, with, with my. Durango with the four ways on. And are you going? Are you the one that's going to be hauling the water for us to cool us down? I could if there's no somebody else to do it. Oh yeah, we always need volunteers. <laughs> you enjoy tractor cruises even though you're not driving a tractor, don't you? Yeah. Oh great. Well, we're glad you're here, Herman. They're still arriving. Looks like they're arriving by twos. How are you, Dave? Great. Those are pretty tractors. Are you ready for the tractor cruise? Yeah. Tell me 
comes Napa Dave. Join in the lineup. Hey, John, is this your collection? Part of it. It's kind of nice having the tractor crews start at our house so that they can see your collection, right? Yeah. Can you tell us what each tractor is? Just the, the brand and the model and all that? Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alice B. And then, in, and the rest are international. You got an A, B, C, H, M. Wait, wait, wait. A, B, C, H, M. Why do they have letters like that? Uh, you'll have to ask the, the guys <laughs> back in the day. Okay. What do we got over there at the end? Those two, those three at the very end. Uh, 574 International, Formula 656. Very good. Oh, there's that lovely little forklift. Interesting. Why do you have a forklift, Johnny? Oh, well, everybody needs a forklift. <laughs> Napa Dave. Hey. Welcome. Hi. We're glad you're here. Yeah. Are these your tractors? Yes. Tell us about your new your tractors. The, um, the first one that you unloaded. The H. We have our 40th anniversary was. This is 2022, uh, or last year. Uh huh. And Linda bought, uh, when she got graduated from high school, she bought a brand new 1976 Ford Maverick. Uh huh. And I've been looking for one for the last 20 years to give it to her for her anniversary. Oh. Cannot find one. Oh. You know, how so romantic. <laughs> the uh, plan B, her dad had a Farmer H. Uh huh. So I bought her a Farmer H and painted it. And we put the name tag on the side of it. In memory of her dad. Yes. I, I saw the sign yeah. and I wondered who that was. Yeah, that's her dad. That is. And then I got awesome. I made one for her mom. You have to put it on the other side. Okay. But that was uh, that's the little tractor. And then the big tractor, I bought it last year from Randy McAtee. Uh huh. I needed a tractor to bail hay with, but my brother, when he was a senior in high school, he bought a brand new 756. Uh huh. And I've been looking for one, kinda. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and I ran across this one. That's it. I'm buying. Awesome. Which one are you going to ride? Oh, I drive the big one. You're going to drive the big one. Yep. Who's driving the little one? Dave Bennett Mumbles is going to drive the little one. Awesome. Well, have a great time. We will. There they are, folks. All our good looking tractors ready to take off on Tractor Cruise 2022. How fun. Ready to take off. We'll hear those engines roar. Start them up, guys. Start them up. Here we go. Tractor Cruise 2022.
conditioner in it. And there comes John riding our Emmy, our Farmall M. We're going to see her a little later at the museum. Actually, we'll see them all at the museum. just bet you they're kind of warm. It's a hot day out there. It's supposed to be 99 degrees. There's Mr. John. And there comes some more. They got to watch the traffic. They're going to park up here at the museum and have some lunch. And while the guys were parking their tractors, I had the privilege of reading Emmy Rides again to about 30 kids and their parents. Cheese! <laughs> what fun to sit on the real <laughs> Emmy that we just read about in the book. Can you wave at us? Hello. Wave like you're in a parade! Come on, hey. farmer boy! <laughs> He's too busy working. Good job. Finally, we made it to lunch. These guys really worked up an appetite traveling those dusty roads. The day ended with a special surprise from my friend Bob Zaganall. He gave me a little toy tractor that he made. Looks just like my Emmy in Emmy Rides Again. If you want to order a copy, head over to HickoryCreekFarms.com Thanks for joining us for Tractor Cruise 2022.